When did the British and the Americans start to pronounce O, oh, as in God, differently? When did the British and the Americans start to pronounce O, oh, as in God, differently? Was it due to changes in America or England? In Britain, the O oh, vowel in words like dog, pod, pot, is pronounced with rounded lips and the tongue back in the mouth. Americans do not have this vowel, instead pronouncing the same words using the A uh, vowel, with the lips unrounded and the tongue back but more relaxed. This is the same vowel in card or bard. In some cases in the US the O oh, is pronounced using the or vowel in words like long, central east coast, and horrid, especially in the western US. The plummy quality of some RP speakers is probably due to an exaggeration of this O oh, vowel and other vowels by pushing the tongue as far back as possible, accomplished by speaking whilst imagining a mouthful of plums. Vowel shifts. Long vowels in Middle English were pronounced as they were in Latin but, during the 15th and 16th centuries, they changed to what we have in general today. This change is called the Great Vowel Shift. In major cities around the Great Lakes area, linguists have noted since the 1970s what they call the Northern Cities Chain Shift. On the West Coast you hear many vowel shifts, notably in younger people, and sometimes words are spelled to match, since since, pen pin. My daughter growing up pronounced it McDonald's dot hot, heart, hat. From American and British pronunciation differences. After American-British split, up to the 20th century, this period is estimated to be c. at 1725 to 1900. The father bother merger, as in lot, bother merges with, as in father, so that most North American dialects only have the vowel. Dot exceptions are accents in eastern New England, such as the Boston accent, and New York City. From Phonological History of English. The difference between the majority of accents is due to vowel rotation. Meaning that in point of fact a typical British accent, and there are of course many, will sound all five vowels differently to an American accent. This is true for all accents. If you want to hear this in action, do your best English accent and your best American and say a sentence like a Harry is in Paris, then say a Henry is in Hendon, and so on for all vowels. If you have an ear for accents you will find all of the vowel sounds are different. This is chiefly what distinguishes accents. With regard to when the changes occurred, surely it would have been gradual, as the English language speakers became separated by distance and immigrants poured into America. Each arriving group would have brought their own influence to bear on pronunciation. To my ears many American words, including a god and a as as for that matter, have an Irish sound and they turned up in large numbers after the Irish famine of the 1840s. The change in the vowel phoneme used in God certainly occurred in American, not British, accents. One piece of evidence indicating this is that in a usual American English accent, the vowel of God has merged with the vowel of Father, while this is not so for a usual British English accent. The spelling provides a clue that the distinction in British English is due to retention of an original distinction rather than due to an innovative split. Wikipedia, which is not such a reliable source but which is the best I have right now, says the change happened from the 18th century on. The general development of the short O sound goes like this. Something like O in Old English, contrasting with long O. In Middle English, it's either O or maybe O later on, contrasting with both long O from Old English O and long from Old English. In Early Modern English, it's or perhaps O early on, contrasting with both long or from monophthongization of the Middle English diphthong O and long A or from lengthening of Middle English A in certain environments. In Modern English, it is variously O or a depending on accent and may or may not be merged with one or both of the descendants of early modern English and dot. Specifically, in a usual accent from the south of England, the vowel in God currently tends to be somewhere around o, although often transcribed slash slash due to tradition. It contrasts with both in father and o in laud. In a usual Scottish English accent, not the same thing as Scots or Scottish Gaelic, the vowel in God is traditionally transcribed as slash o slash, and it is merged with the vowel of laud but not with the slash slash of father. In a usual general American English accent, the vowel in God is merged with the father vowel. In American English affected by the northern city's vowel shift, it has been fronted to more or less v. In accents with the cot cot merger laud has this same vowel, in accents without the merger laud has a distinct vowel usually transcribed slash o slash, but often phonetically closer to something like. American English is not really so much more conservative than British English. 
Other innovative phonological slash phonetic elements that are more common in North American English than in British English are Neutralization of tenseness distinctions for vowels before slash r slash, the merger of Mary, Mary, and Mary, the merger of forest with either forest or forest, the merger of serious and serious, the merger of hurry and furry. Yaw dropping pronouncing news as news instead of news. Telanition voicing slash t slash when it comes between vowels and the second vowel is unstressed as in water, or dropping slash t slash when it comes after slash n slash and before an unstressed vowel as in winter. These are not universally present in American English accents, and yaw dropping and telanition exist in some British English accents as well, but these innovations are certainly more common in North American English than in British English. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.